Okay, this is gonna be a whopper of a video. I don't have a lot of room on my phone, um, but like everybody else who is a Scentsy consultant, I've been warming through wax like a madman because we're all home quarantined. I'm in New York, supposedly, you know, like not supposedly, but the epicenter of the whole COVID thing. So um, we, I am going to go through my empties. I'm gonna go through them real fast. I'm not gonna give you descriptions of everything because hello, there's a lot of empties here. We did go through an entire um, container of counter clean and bathroom cleaner, which I add bleach to in order to make it disinfecting. Um, I love this scent, but unfortunately the scent is discontinued. Go, go, mango. Eh, it's only just okay for me. It's not my favorite scent in the world. I am currently using Squeeze the Day in Counter Clean, which is fantastic. Um, again, I always put like two capfuls of bleach into the Counter Clean and the bathroom cleaner. And um, these days we have to be real careful about disinfecting and stuff, right? I did go through an entire laundry love bundle of pink cotton. This was fantastic in the laundry. Um, right now I'm using Ocean because it was in the clearance section, but pink cotton was fantastic. I don't remember warming this wax, but now I think I'm gonna have to because I really liked it in the laundry. And I got a new, um, that's gross. I got a new hand soap. Cider Mill was in the clearance section, so I went ahead and I got a new one, so I'm gonna throw this one out. And I keep on refilling these with body wash, by the way. The body wash, ounce for ounce is cheaper than the hand soap. So I just go ahead and buy the body wash and I refill the hand soap container with the body wash. My dog is licking a bowl over there, pardon the noise. Okay, let's get on to the rest of it is wax. Let's just, let's go with the licensed products first. Light side of the force, I needed to mix this. I actually mixed this with, what did I mix this with? Inhale, exhale. I know I mix out. Oh, did it pixie dust? I can't remember. Might have been Berry Blast. I think it was these two. I took a picture of it and I did put it on Facebook. Um, together, it was great. This is light, light side of the force. Hi. It also, it's not just that it's light. This scent gets lost for me. So it needs a little something else. And the Berry Bright is, is nice. It's a little too much like uh, cotton candy-ish for me. So mixing those two together was great. Pixie Sparkle, when I smelled this in the clamshell, my husband and I made this video, um, I wasn't so crazy about it, but I really liked it when I warmed it and it lasted a really long time. So Pixie Sparkle. This is the Mulan wax, the one with the dragon on it. Now here's, not your everyday dragon. Here's what's funny. My husband and my son both said that smells like an old lady's house. And I have no idea what they're talking about. This is a mango scent. But for some reason, I like it. I usually can't stand mango, but I really did like this. So because they didn't like it, I took it out of the warmers in the living room and I put it in my office and it was great. Alice in Wonderland. We're all mad here. This to me smells like pink lemonade or um, like pink grapefruit, grapefruit juice cocktail kind of a thing. I liked it, but it was a little boring for me. Let's see. What else do we have that's licensed? Not really licensed, but Unicorn Kisses. I loved this. Oh, it was perfumey and candy at the same time. Loved it, loved it, loved it, because it's got a little bit of rose in there. Sparkling sugar. This is a pineapple scent. Eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Is this the pineapple one? The clamshell, for some reason, doesn't smell like anything. Um, it's a cotton candy, I think. Cotton candy and pineapple together. I'm not sure. I told you I'm not going to go through the notes. Um, it was good. It was good. Confetti party was my favorite out of the whole collection. Oh, it was like apple and peach and oh, lovely. Absolutely loved Confetti Party, put it in my bedroom. Uh, sugar and Spice, my husband really likes this one. It smells a little bit like Dr. Pepper, like Cherry Coke. He likes uh, root beer, that kind of thing. So he really liked this one and I'm disappointed that I don't have any more. Brown Sugar Praline, I had this in my warmers earlier today and everybody asked me to take it out because it smells too much like butter. Yeah, we had to actually look up what praline was. <laughs> Because we're like, why does it smell like butter? And it turns out that a lot of times when they make praline candy, they use a cream. So there you go. Cozy Spice, I had mixed that with the sugar, brown sugar praline. Yeah, I'm glad that this is done, thank God, because I couldn't get this right so that I liked it. Apple Press is one of my favorite waxes of all time. I have a ton of it in my personal stash. I usually like to mix it with Hemingway or Midnight Fig or something, because on its own, it's a little flat to me, but it's a really, really good apple scent to mix with things. 
mad about mint. I use this mostly in the bathroom and I used it mixed with cocoa lime, which is really nice. Lime and mint together. It was kind of like a mojito. Spring has sprung last month's scent of the month. Super floral, lots of magnolia and stuff like that. This is really nice, very girly, very f uh, like flowers, straight up flowers. Cherry almond pie. Supposedly this is Orville Thompson's favorite scent, uh, the owner of Scentsy. Uh, this is a very authentic almond scent. It smells like marzipan, it's really, really nice. It could bump up the cherry a little bit. Actually, you know what? You can mix it with uh, apple press. I don't, where is it? Apple press. Mixing these two together would be really nice. Mineral Oasis, it's very spa. I, uh, this bores the crap out of me. So Mineral Oasis is nice. But it's just nice. It's not like anything special that you can't get at Bath and Body Works or Glade or something like that. Iridescent Pearl is one of my favorites from the, the current catalog. This lasts forever and it changes as it goes. Those are my favorite waxes. The ones that every two or three hours it smells a little bit different. Iridescent Pearl is going to be definitely in my Scentsy Club subscription once it leaves the catalog. If it leaves the catalog, who knows? It might not. Here comes the sunshine. I had to mix this one. I think I might have mixed this one with one of those um, unicorn waxes. Uh, it, this is kind of boring. It does smell like, it does give you the sense of sunflowers. It's a very sunny scent, but if you have your windows open, this gets completely lost. Very, very light. Cozy Cookie, just like Cozy Spice, just like most of the Cozy Collection from last year. This was very hard for me to figure out how to use it properly for my nose. Wasn't crazy about it. Strawberry Rose, it took me forever to get through this. This was not my favorite scent in the world. This is scent of the month from two months ago. It doesn't have enough rose in it. It smells like strawberry taffy. We already have a strawberry taffy scent. Don't need another one. Spice berries. This is nice. It's a little too much cinnamon, a little too much nutmeg for me, but it's just that. It's spiced berries. And last but not least is the scent of the month right now. Be fabulous. And it is fabulous. I had it in the warmers in the bedroom two days ago. My husband, who's not a scent connoisseur, came out and said, oh, that smells really nice. So, okay, that smells really nice. <laughs> Be Fabulous is available right now for 10% off. And that's it, folks. I'm so glad I can throw this shit out now. Bye.